and keep the laundry going. No, no I, I, apparently not capable. <laughs> but um, so six minutes, I've been cramming the snappy nut. And I said, all right, I don't have anything left. What have you got? She said exactly this. Are you trying to send me a cartoon character? Mm. I said, yeah, yeah. She said, well, there's this little two and a half foot tall human thing in the chair. <laughs> he's got little skinny legs and little skinny arms. And he's got cartoon colors on him. So I fear he's a cartoon character. And he's got a stick in his hand. Oh, my God. <laughs> Six minutes. She was 2,100 miles away from me. Wow. And that Daffy Duck is forming up in the chair. A physical. Now, that's what we can do. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, he's showing up in spirit. Now, she's getting enough. She can see that. And Judy's not the only one I can send things to. Mm-hmm. And I've tested this thing out using time and space that you can't imagine. Mm-hmm. And it worked. And she, wow. and if I stay on that Daffy Duck, she's going to get a Daffy Duck. Ding dong. Well, she already package. said, is, is it what, a cartoon what, character? Yeah. Yeah, she can see it in, we'll call it in spirit. She can see it in the non-physical realm as it overlaps into the physical realm. I targeted that chair, that physical chair, and that non-physical Daffy Duck is sitting in it. Mm-hmm. He's a little wimpy. She's right. I put six <laughs> minutes in. He's only two and a half feet tall. <laughs> and he's not full, the sign and all is not fully formed. But she could mm-hmm. tell what it was to the point it's a cartoon character with a stick in his hand. Six minutes. Wow. Now, after I saw The Secret and I got to thinking about this thing a little bit, and I, I wouldn't shut up about it. Mm-hmm. People keep saying, you need to write a book. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to. I'm working on it. Yeah, uh-huh, sure. You know, I kept waiting for somebody else to write the book. <laughs> but they didn't have these experiences. So after two years of talking about this, I swear to God, I talked about this every day except for eight days as best I can calculate. Mm-hmm. Over two years, I finally sat down put a headphone on, it dictated the book, and the book was in my hands in printed form in seven weeks. Wow. Six or seven weeks. And the editor fell out of the sky, the, 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 the book covered people, the, the guy that had all the publishing routes, the whole thing, as they say in Dallas, the whole enchilada. Yeah. As, so it was the Yeah, yeah. And you, so, so uh, you, you, were were grateful. you were very grateful when... After finally managing to manifest this for your friend, how many thousands of miles away, you were very grateful then because you, you realize, okay, I've been working really hard. I'm really stressed, but I've done it. She got something. No, I wasn't grateful. I just thought it was cute. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so, but I, I, I still didn't know how to apply it to my life. Okay. No, I still didn't know how to apply it to my life. Yeah, no, I just kicked a field goal. I just made a touchdown. That's all, you know. That was it. <laughs> okay. I, I, I was, I was just ignorant about the whole thing. That's the only word I could use for myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just didn't get it. I just didn't get it. And and once I saw the secret, I realized I applied to myself. But those people didn't know how this works. Right. And now that I know how it works, I'm unstoppable because if I think it'll start to form. Mm-hmm. So let's, let's do the number two real quick. So I can't let you go without dealing with worry. Mm-hmm. If that's all right. Oh, yeah. That's one of the biggest things that people okay. want to know. Yes, yes. So, all right. So, I had figured this thing out, and I told some friends about it. And we are manifesting things. Things are happening. Things are happening. And and then there's some big worries that come along. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Big worries. Well, what do we do with that? I didn't know. Mm-hmm. Don't worry about them. I know my thoughts make stuff, but I can't stop worrying about this stuff. What if you have a tremendous pain in your wrist? What if what if the wrist do in, you know, three or four days? Oh. And and there's, you know, hundreds of pounds involved, thousands of pounds involved, whatever. Where, where's it going to come from? Yes. So you're going to think about it, think about it, think about it, think about it. It's a thought. Mm-hmm. And thoughts don't care. They just make things. I know if I were to have a thought, it's very so if I'm thinking that I can't change if I'm thinking, is that cancer? Do you that? Is that cancer? My is that cancer? Cancer? It thinks that way. And I'm going to go to the best of my life. I'm going to go to the best of my life. I'm going to go So I'm not going to uh, be dumb enough to have a thought and let the other great force in the universe, which would be... Fear, yes, yeah. is, is charged by fear. 
I read it to. So my best out here, if I charge him up with the bum fear, and it will merely make the thing. So I can not I can create a scenario where I don't pay the mortgage. I can create a scenario where I have created cancer. I can create oh. all these scenarios. Well, I, I can't afford it. Wow. I can't afford it, and I won't have it. So okay, a, qu- a question I, do, I have. Do people have to yeah. have religion or believe in a higher power for the manifesting to work then? I'm very curious because you say gratefulness no. is important. So, no, they don't. Okay. No. Mm. Mm. No. Did, did, God ing- did God invent gravity? Yeah. And, 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 you know, by the way, if somebody asks me what religion I am, I'll tell them I'm the religion of the angels. <laughs> okay. But they may want you to give a more is, specific. They may want you to give something more specific. Yeah. No, it, it, you know, it doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter, because it's a law. Okay. Now, either that occurred naturally or, or, or God did it. You know, it's just, it's just the way the universe was constructed randomly and we have gravity, or it was part of what God did. And, mm. and however it works out, our thoughts are making things and my friends can watch it happen in real time. Mm-hmm. And if you have a fear, I mean, if you have a worry, you load it up with fear and it's very powerful and will make it as efficiently as it possibly can. Mm-hmm. And, and we've all done this in our lives. We have to stop that. I can't tell people, and a lot of books written about how to lessen your worries, here's what I was given because I couldn't figure it out. And I had a big fat fear going on. I'm trying to make a house payment. I got wow. the perfect house. And here comes the first house payment. Guess what? It's not there. Mm. <laughs> right out of the wow. box, I'm in trouble with my perfect wow. new house, you know, making the payments. And wow. another friend of mine is having the same trouble in real estate here. The market's gone to the bottom. And we're right. in fear about paying our bills. Right, right. And, she, and she, she called me. She said, you need to do something about this. And I had oh. the phone and said, yeah, yeah, like, what am I going to do about this? So I thought about it all day. Okay. I didn't have a thought in my head. I'd given up. And then this is what came in. One of those little miraculous things, an idea came to me. I didn't hear the voice, but it was as if there was a voice. Hmm. Turn your ah. worries into action items. Ah. What the heck is that? Turn your worries into action items. I don't have a clue what that means. That's stupid. And then there was like a follow-up paragraph with a stupid guy. And it was this, take action on your worries. In other words, uh, what's a worry that you have, if you don't mind? It's some small or large worry. What is oh, your worry? Oh, what, oh, the usual, I suppose. One of many opinion? things is probably you might have money worries or, okay. yeah, mon- yeah, that's probably one of All the right. biggest things. Money worries, have. money worries. Mm. Uh, you ever wake up in the middle of the night, middle of the yes. night, worried about, paying? okay, so here we are. Yeah, I've only done that a few thousand times. Mm-hmm. So uh, it's the middle of the night. You're worried about money. You're worried about paying the bills. You're worried about mm-hmm. getting by. Uh, mm-hmm. Whether you, in the future, that's already been taken care of. Mm-hmm. In your future, your bills and expenses, you can clearly see your bills and expenses have been paid a year in advance, mm-hmm. will be paid a year in advance, mm-hmm. and indefinitely forward. And you're so very grateful. Grateful. You can very clearly great. see that. You can clearly see yeah. that. You didn't specify the who, what, where, when on this, but you can clearly see that so you're not worried for a year and you know indefinitely forward it continues to go. That's pretty good. So, But in the middle of the night right now, mm-hmm. it's 3 o'clock in the morning and you're worried sick about this. Mm-hmm. So let's take action on that lack of money. Mm-hmm. You're worried about it. You're creating a lack of money because you repetitively think about this over and yeah. over and you charge it up, charge up with fear. And my friends can see it building over there. Oh, I have God. gotten phone. I have gotten phone calls on this one. Ken, you're entangling this stuff. You're really good at making this stuff, as good as anybody mm-hmm. else. Mm-hmm. And you're entangling this stuff. You need to put that in your rearview mirror, Judy said. And I thought mm-hmm. to myself, well, you know, so far yeah. so good. And now what I'm going to do going forward, I'm going to take action on this concern. Wow. I, I, I used the word concern now. I so have what to do ask you? Do? you. So you've been doing grab your, these grab your, things. Uh-huh. You, you've been doing these things, and you have learned how to put things in the past, the things that you don't want in the past, and the things that you do 
desire i must use the right terminology (laughs) the things that you do desire into your future now can i just ask you how did you feel when the things and the situations that you'd been thinking about and manifesting actually started to become reality because i smiled when i read your book uh you have said that you'd also started manifesting items such as an ipad and things like that because you said that you hadn't really Mm -hmm. been into such technology before so i thought that was really funny and i really wanted to know how you felt about that Mm -hmm. Oh, I felt very grateful, and mm-hmm. I would laugh. Sometimes people call me with their stories, and it said in the book, we scream at each other like teenage girls. No way! <laughs> shut up! It can't happen! You know? <laughs> now, I, you're, I, I don't leave you hanging or your people hanging. It's the middle of the night, mm-hmm. 3 a.m., and you've got money worries, and you're mm-hmm. creating a lack of money mm-hmm. as efficiently as possible with every tool that you've got, plus you're putting fear on it, so you, you couldn't build this any better. Mm-hmm. And, and your thoughts will just make it. They don't care. So grab your smartphone, get a piece of paper, something, and you're going to take action on your worries. Number one, you're going to call a mentor and and discuss with them some ways that you might increase your income or help with your expenses. Number two, you'll look around uh, in the Craigslist, want ads, that sort of thing. See if there is another career path. See if something pops up. Number three, uh, let's see, there's that little sideline business, that little thing. It's not a career thing, but it could be an income stream. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe you'll activate that a little bit. So you have these action items. Yes. And when you wake up in the morning, they're reminders on your calendar. You may not hit them all on the same day. You mm-hmm. could ask the boss for a raise. You, you could put that on the calendar too. And you'll start kicking those things off. And you'll do what you can do on those action items. And by the way, you're probably the only person around that goes to your future. Mm-hmm. And in your future, these problems don't exist. Mm-hmm. Guess what? That's all you can do. Add a girl, pat yourself on the back. You took action. You're doing your very best. And, and you're very smart about it. And does that keep you from worrying about it? No, but it might diminish no. it some. some. You're going to worry about it, but it might diminish no, it some. And you're not going you're, you're to repeat that thought. You'll catch no. yourself. Mm-hmm. You'll catch yourself. So-, so you won't power it up. Now, can I ask you, please, because time is running out on us. This is just mm-hmm. so unfair. Can you start to tell the listeners where they can find out more about you, how to support you and your book, your your contact information? Please, can you tell us again? Because you did mention it earlier. Okay. Well, I'm supported very well. Thank you very much. But <laughs> let's support this important information. So tell your friend. Mm-hmm. And, and yes, yes, I can always, I won't turn down support. Uh, in, in <laughs> yeah. form. So uh, go to www.manifesting123.com. And for those in the UK, you can get the book through Amazon. They'll print it and ship it to you. Uh, I think it's done um, there in the UK. You can also get the Kindle version. It's also on iTunes. And I have the the audio version where I read the book. So that's available to people worldwide. Mm. Now, I must ask you this. This is one of the questions I've been burning to ask you. Do you remember what the first thing or situation was that happened to you after you started to consciously concentrate on manifesting? Yes. Mm. Uh, In my future, because I was worried about the house payments, in my future, I open my computer and I log in and I look at my bank accounts online. Mm-hmm. And they're just fat. They're full. They've got a lot of money in them. I use the word, they're just fat. They're just oh. fat. <laughs> and within, within, within about three weeks, I opened up the computer, and there was $28,000 in my oh. personal checking account, which, which is a pretty fat number. I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't care that kind of money around. No. And, and as it turned out, it was an income tax return, a big one, because I had a loss on a house. Uh-huh. So I had money coming back, and there was a automatic draw that came out of a savings account that someone had me turn on a mortgage company at the time for whatever their reasons were. I forgot to turn it off, so a lot of my own money was diverted into my personal checking account, right. and I woke up and that account was fat, just like I specified. <laughs> yeah. Now, isn't it's that crazy? Loving it. It's crazy. It is crazy. People out there are loving yeah. hearing this because they 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 want to yeah. hear the true stories of how you have managed to, I don't want to say it, but maybe turn your life around almost using these techniques and now you're sharing them with everyone else. I mean, can I ask you this? Yeah. Look into the 
future. Have you ever envisaged your book being made into a film or a TV series? I love to know this. Well, when I when I specify, well, thank you for that idea. When I specify in the future that manifesting one two three eighty don't need number three has very quickly sold 